welcome students welcome to the chemistry class so in the last year in the 2020 we have started this chapter that is thermodynamic so we are continuing the same thermodynamic chapter no doubt this is not a much important for your annual examination point of view but it is important very important for your competitive exams those who are having the interest to go engineering or a medical they must have should study this in detail because compulsory at least two to three portion will be coming based on this thermodynamics. So apart from this complete exams, this is not having much uh, carry out for the second phase. Why? Because you are not having any touch of this thermodynamic and an equilibrium for the second phase. So this is purely the physical chemistry concepts. So if you want to study this in continuity means you are going to study daily. So for that reason, do remember this one and whatever today I am explaining, this is most important for your competitive exams. Keep in your mind. So let's start. Uh, measurement of delta U. Here delta U is nothing but internal energy. Change in small internal energy and delta H is nothing but enthalpy. Enthalpy is nothing but heat. So what is the internal energy change and what is the enthalpy change in a system can be calculated by the instrument called calorie calorimetry. So what is this calorimetry? How we are calculating this one means? Here calorimetry is one of the instrument which is used for the calculating the internal energy and also for the change in the enthalpy. So here, change in the enthalpy that is delta H is nothing but heat transferring in the system. So here, here energy change associated with a chemical or physical process by an experimental technique that is called as calorimetry. So here it is having one instrument. We are going to observe this structure also. So this instrument is going to explain you the explain you the how the uh, instrument is used for determining the delta H and delta H. Here, the process of carry out means this process is carried out in a vessel that is called as calorimeter and which is immersed means the instrument calorimeter that is immersed in a known volume of the liquid. Some volume means uh, volume is nothing but here we are taking the water. So, in water we are dipping this instrument that is calorimeter. So, here We are going to measure this uh, heat and uh, internal energy by this calculator means we are calculating this by the two method that is one is by keeping the two terms that is one is volume and another one is pressure. So here we are keeping a, a constant volume. Here constant volume means Q is nothing but uh, it is heat change in the heat. So heat is nothing but if the heat is changing means that is nothing but internal energy and that also considered for the enthalpy. So here we can be able to determine the change in internal energy and the enthalpy by the two different conditions. The condition number one is by keeping the volume as a constant. Q at constant volume means change in the heat at constant volume. Similarly change in the heat at constant pressure. By this two condition we are going to determine the Delta U and Delta H. So here, this instrument is itself is called as bomb calorimetry. So here, bomb calorimetry is nothing but it is the instrument is also called as calorimeter. Calor calorimeter of calorimeter. Can you see here? In this uh, diagram, you are having a, a container. This is called as container. So here, this is whole it is a container. In this container, we are placed or immersed the instrument. This instrument. Can you see it? Only this one. This two and it is overall system. This is called as calorimetry. This is called as calorimetry. Warm calorimetry is nothing but total arrangement is called as warm calorimetry. But calorimetry is nothing but these are having the two metal wires. These are nothing but lead. And here one sample is placed, the sample is nothing but any of the salt component that is placed. And here oxygen is passed from outside into the inside, that is called as oxygen inlet. Oxygen is coming inside here. 
so this is under some sort of pressure so this galvanometer instrument it is immersed in the water means in this container water is present surrounding water is present so water is present and uh, here what is actually happening is uh, this is called as warm so here warm is nothing but as we are using the word warm is nothing but atom warm so here is also we are blasting the sample whichever we are taking the sample this sample we are going to burn that one we are going to blast that one how means by passing the oxygen the sufficient oxygen and by this firing lead, lead with the help of oxygen we are firing the sample sample is nothing but any other compound that is going to burn with the presence of oxygen if the burning is appeared means if it is blasted then what happens is the heat is uh, changes the heat should not change with the other compound for that reason we place uh, this calorimetry in a water so it means that the heat is transferring from a system to the surrounding means it is transferring from this bomb to the surrounding water for that reason what will be the change in this water can be calculated by this thermometer and see here this is the thermometer so here that the thermometer is going to read the temperature changed in the water at initially means before the burning of sample and after the burning of sample so here the temperature distribution in the water thoroughly and uniformly can be calculated by this stirrer this is called a stirrer stirrer is nothing but in the soon in the february first week we are going to start the lab at the time we are going to understand this stirrer but we are not using this kind of stirrer normally stirrer is nothing but it is just like a rod which are used for mixing purpose this is called as stirrer so here i hope we can understand stirrer used for the mixing the water to understand the temperature of the water and what is going to heat by the transformation of heat from the bomb to the water while this heat generating means we are going to burn the sample by the influence of oxygen and also by the help of firing plugs these are connected to the electrical wire so this is the method called as the measurement of internal energy delta is nothing but internal energy so here internal energy can be calculated by this bomb calorimeter by this bomb calorimeter i hope you can able to understand the word bomb so bomb is nothing but we are going to fire that sample so this is one of the instrument that here we are keeping the change in the volume is constant in one first condition it is qb and cd so qb is nothing but here volume of the water is not changing it is fixed volume of the water is not changing but the heat is transferring from the bomb to the water how much water is changing that can be measured by the thermometer so this is the one of the method to calculate the internal energy by using the bomb calorimeter this is first condition and the same condition we can appear this by the second so whichever i have explained to you this is uh, Every in detail is there here. So we have to remember one thing here. So in the previous uh, system and something I have explained you, the work done is uh, should be by the differ in the internal energy. If the work is not done at that time, what happens? Delta V becomes zero. So I said in the beginning, we are not changing the volume. The volume will be remain same. Why? Because the water is. Placed in a isolated means isolated in the sense what is not transferring the liquid will remain same in the container. So in this condition, volume is not changing. If the volume is not changing, means the work done is zero. But it is undergo the temperature change of the calorimetry means the calorimetry is going to form the heat. The heat can be measured by this condition. That is called as calculation of delta U by the bomb calorimetry. This is one of the method, and you have to understand. Explain the calculation of delta U using the calculator, and diagram is also important here. They are asked you to calculate the diagram. The second one is the measurement of delta H means change in the enthalpy. Enthalpy is nothing but heat. Here we are going to calculate the change in the internal energy that is delta U by keeping the constant as a V Q V. Here we are going to calculate the change in the enthalpy. Enthalpy is nothing but again it is in the form of heat by keeping the pressure as a constant. By keeping the 
in the pressure as a constant. So look here, here one of the instrument that is called as calorie meter. Calorie meter is only the calorie meter. There it was a warm calorie meter. So here it is seems to be a very simple method. This is not other than thermos, a small thermos which is carried for the tea, the hot tea for when they are hot water. So the same thing it is converted in the lateral point for the degree. You are going to observe that the calorie meter is seems to be just a thermos. So here it is an isolated container. I saw thermal it is. It means that it is not transferring. It is remains inside only. And here they have made one hole in this container, and that, that is passed by the thermometer. Thermometer is taken here. So here in this calorie meter instrument, they have placed a liquid. It is not a single liquid. It is a liquid of two. That is called as reaction mixture. The, any of the two reactant means it is a two mixture. Two liquid are mixed in such a way that so you have to measure the means in the lab only you are going to do this experiment only in the degree BSc first semester you are going to do this experiment in the form MC you are not having this experiment but theoretically it is placed in the okay so before mixing the two reactants what will be the temperature soon after mixing the two mixture means in the two mixture are mixed just pouring this two and what will be the change in the temperature that is measured by this instrument here this container is formed by the polystyrene cup means the heat is not transferring it will remain inside and the reaction mixture as it increases sometimes means after some time the temperature is going to increase after some time the temperature will be remains constant and what will be the change in the temperature inside the this calorimeter means in this reaction mixture that can be observed by this thermometer. This kind of instrument is carried out at a constant pressure, at constant pressure. So a pressure is nothing but what here we are not changing the volume. Volume of water is not changing, but we are increasing by mixturing. So initially one reactant, another one reactant is added. But the pressure remains here constant. We are not changing any of the pressure. The mixture is not undergo any change in the pressure when it was displaced in an isolated thermal container that is called as calorimeter. So here we are going to observe that what will be the effect of temperature in this mixture. So here if the reactions are mixed, they may undergo the increase in the heat. It may increase or it may decrease. If the reaction, what happens is Enthalpy change in enthalpy we are going to measure by the change in heat that is at constant pressure. So here that can be represented by the symbolically delta Rh means change in the enthalpy in reaction. Delta Rh small r it is in the below. So here change in the in reactant. What will be the change in the enthalpy? Here enthalpy is the heat. In the reaction heat may evolve means heat may absorb or heat may liberate. So in this condition, if the reaction is exothermic, exothermic is nothing but heat is going to evolve. It is going to lose by the system to the surrounding. Means in the system is heat is losing. Means it is donating to the surrounding. If heat is lost, means then it is called as exothermic reaction. Heat is losing means other condition we are going to get the delta H as a negative. Means QP change in the heat at constant pressure we are going to get the negative and also delta H is be negative. Why? Because as the QP and the delta H both are same. If the absorbed energy, heat is absorbed means delta H means enthalpy is positive. Heat is liberated is nothing but enthalpy is negative. Here if the reaction is exothermic, then QP is negative and obviously delta H it is also negative. Similarly, if the reaction is endothermic, then heat is absorbed. If the heat is absorbed at that condition, QP is positive. And ultimately, delta R means delta R H change in the enthalpy of reaction, it is also becomes positive. So, main thing what you have to remember here, you have to practice the diagram in both the delta U and delta H, and you have to remember these steps. Do follow this after the cycle diagram, you have to take note of this as a notebook, as a notes. So, here you are. No doubt, just you can understand that enthalpy change, enthalpy is nothing but heat is 
how the heat is changing in the reaction that we can going to understand in depth in some of the reactions we are going to discuss some of the terms here so here in this term it is totally based on the enthalpy of the reaction enthalpy is nothing but heat what happens in the reaction whether heat may lose or gain at which conditions at which different different condition the heat is losing or heat is gaining what kind of heat is transferred in the reaction we are going to discuss that in detail in this different types of reaction so let's begin this is first one is so whenever the reaction is carried out carried out so reactant is going to form as a product in this condition heat may undergo the change i am not saying that heat may absorb or decrease but heat obviously it will undergo some changes so how to calculate that reaction enthalpy means change appeared in the reaction in heat that can be calculated by this formula delta rh means change in the enthalpy in the reaction that calculated by the sum of enthalpies of product minus sum of enthalpies of reactant means initially the product of product means the heat of the product minus heat of the reactant it is so what is the heat of product means product how much heat it is having minus initially what was the heat of the reactant so comparing whether the reactant is full or product is full which one is hot so based on this we can say that we are going to get the delta h value so if the delta h is positive it means that the reaction is endothermic if the delta h is negative it means that the reaction is exothermic for example look here here methane is burned means burning is nothing but by passing oxygen methane or passing oxygen is going to form carbon dioxide and water here so how to calculate the enthalpy of this reaction so as i said in the previous this is the enthalpy of the product minus enthalpy of the reactant here this is called as summation summation is nothing but sum addition that is called as summation here ai and this is bi ai is nothing but it is a coefficient factor so here product so product is nothing but here carbon dioxide and water so coefficient of carbon dioxide means beside carbon dioxide nothing is there it means one will be remains similarly in the water the coefficient its moles of coefficient is of water is to for the present here ai is the given coefficient of the product similarly bi is the given coefficient of the reactants look here here in the next method hl we have written which is the given molar enthalpy so here carbon dioxide is having one molar enthalpy that's why it is simply hl carbon dioxide it is in the form of gases plus product me one more is there here water so water is having two mole that is two molar enthalpy Here it is one molar carbon dioxide. What is two molar enthalpy? Minus total it is about the product minus next one is about the reaction. Methane is having one mole. Therefore, one molar enthalpy of methane, which is in the gases form, plus in the reactant one mole is there. That is oxygen. It is two mole. For the present, two molar enthalpy of the water means oxygen. Two molar enthalpy of the oxygen, which is in the gases. So here we are going to write the individual. gaseous energy of carbon dioxide and water and what will be the energy of product and what will be the energy of reactant and we are going to subtract this two based on this we are going to get the delta h value so they are going to give you the enthalpy so no need to worry here we have to know the heat of water heat of carbon dioxide means molar energy of the methane and oxygen If they have given means, then only it is possible to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction. So this is one of the general information how to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction. Enthalpy of the reaction. So let's begin. Here standard enthalpy of the reaction. What I have seen in the previous, this is the instruction about to uh, change in the internal energy. Means a reaction may undergo the change in enthalpy. So change in enthalpy is nothing but initially what will be the enthalpy of the reactant. And after forming the product, what will be the enthalpy of the product? So reactant is converted as a product. At the time of reactant, what is its energy? Is what will be the heat capacity of the reactant? After forming the product, what will be its heat capacity? That difference is called as uh, enthalpy of the reaction. Enthalpy of the reaction. That one by one we are studying in a different form, means in a different method, different steps. 
So here first one is so whatever I explained in the previous that, that is a fundamental thing basic. So these are important for the definition. They are going to ask you define standard enthalpy of reaction. If they ask you, you should be capable to define that one with the one example. Okay. So let's start standard enthalpy of reaction. So I hope you know that a reaction is nothing but reaction to the product. Heat is changing. That is called as enthalpy of reaction. So a standard is nothing but what? Standard is nothing but here. Whichever we are taking the reactant and the product, those should be in a standard way. Standard way is nothing but here. Standard indicates that the standard form of nothing but the substance which are undergo for the reactant or which are forming as a product, they should fall as a at one bar pressure. They should appear as a one bar pressure. Means we have to maintain some temperature. We have to maintain some temperature in such a way that the temperature should give that the substance should be in the pure form, pure form at the pressure of one bar. We are never bothered about what is the temperature, the specific temperature of that substance that should have the any of the temperature. It may have the 400, 500, 200, and 50, anything. In that specific temperature, that substance should be in the form of pressure one bar. So pressure should be one bar. How much temperature we have to supply to that substance to have a temperature of one bar? Means pressure should be one bar, and temperature is based on the whole substance it is. And that very very compound, very very substance, very very temperature. Our temperature is supplied by the other the substance, other pressure one bar, more than that, we have to temperature supply. So yes, you have to take care of the area. It means for a different substance, we are having different. Specific temperature, a specific temperature of supply of the air and the water, supply is more of the water, a substance should identify the pressure as one bar, and the pressure is equal to one bar pressure per vehicle. But at least the temperature vehicle has the temperature that we do not know, a reaction and a carrier for the water. I have the other time. So, reactor simply hydrogen and oxygen they are together going to form as a water. This is the condition. So, hydrogen and oxygen are going to be able to form one bar pressure and the other one. So one bar pressure and heat will come and we have to supply some of the temperature which we have to increase the heat. So heat will hang increase one bar pressure and the temperature will be done and the hydrogen oxygen will be pressure one bar and the temperature will be done and the temperature will be done. So here standard state of substance are nothing but it is a specific temperature and that temperature what we are obtaining is we are obtaining the pure form of that substance at one bar pressure. One bar pressure. So pressure one bar is equal to the temperature of supply of the bar. As the temperature is equal to the supply of the bar. Our condition is equal to the bar. Our situation is equal to the substance. Our substance is equal to the standard state of substance. It may be a reactant or it may be a pressure. The standard state of reactant is equal to the product of the bar. The standard product is equal to the bar. The reaction is equal to the standard enthalpy of the bar. Reaction. So standard enthalpy of reaction is the enthalpy change for a reaction when all the participating substances are in their standard state. Standard state under the meaning of here, standard state under the meaning. So definition is put to here, but you have is put to write this too also so that it will understand the view and even for the exam that we did. You know, the standard condition that I am going to mention more today. I say you the enthalpy of the reaction are represented as del RH in the birth of you know del and delta over the subscript that is delta H standard enthalpy is nothing but we are representing by the subscript in a zero state textbook in the year of even zero in between minus or above that no need to write that one delta H not of the birth of you know H not is nothing but power of zero small zero birth of you know अरे वो तो स्पेल है मार्ट के अंदर ना प्रोनाउंस है मार्ट के अंदर डेल्टा हेच नॉट अंदर प्रोनाउंस मार्ट हो सो डेल्टा हेच नॉट ये बड़ी बार बड़ी चीज़ों पर ये बड़े जीरो बर्थ दरे सब डिसेप्शन डेल्टा हेच नॉट दिस डेल्टा हेच अंदर बर्थ दरे एंथल्पी ऑफ़ द रिएक्शन एंथल्पी ऑफ़ द रिएक्शन डेल्टा ह Standard enthalpy of the reaction. Are you getting this one? So standard enthalpy is nothing but what? Here the reactants are compulsory in the pure form. It is having one bar pressure, and the temperature is not specific. Specific in the sense for a certain reactant, it is having the different temperature. So this is about the standard enthalpy of reactions. So coming to the second one, standard 
changes during the phase transformation. So phase transformation here, enthalpy change during the phase transformation. Here phase is nothing but what? Here phase is nothing but state. State is nothing but states are nothing but here there are three states. One is solid, liquid, gases. What will be the enthalpy? Means heat. What is the heat is transferring if the compound is converting from solid into the liquid? Or liquid into the gases or solid into the directly gaseous. In this state, if the state is transferred, means obviously there is a change in the enthalpy. If solid is the liquid is the solid is the gases is the heat change. If the heat change, the answer is the enthalpy. Enthalpy changes during the phase. Phase is nothing but state. So here, first one is enthalpy changes that accompanies melting of here. The first one is from solid into the liquid it is. The enthalpy changes that accompanies melting of one mole of a solid substance. One mole of a solid substance in a standard state. In a standard state is called standard enthalpy of fusion or molar enthalpy of fusion. So in the standard enthalpy of fusion, fusion is nothing but what? Fusion is the thing about splitting, split out to very very out to have it fusion. FU, SIO, AL, and the part of fusion. Fusion is the thing about combining. FI, SSI, and fusion combining. Fusion is the thing about this is splitting, separation. So, molar enthalpy of fusion under it. Here, the compound, one example is water, which is in the solid. It is converting as a liquid. Solid is in a liquid convert model of the Solid is converted as liquid. Solid only particles straight like the way liquid only very very dur I go. So it means that the they are under the cleavage of bond. Bond is breaking. Breaking is nothing but what? Fusion. Your few is I fusion is nothing but breaking. So here after apply supply some amount of the energy, the solid solid state of water is converted as liquid that is called as fusion. The, Standard enthalpy of the fusion. Standard enthalpy of fusion. Whenever we use the word fusion, the conversion is a conversion from solid into the liquid. So in this reaction, the enthalpy change in the form of fusion it is six kilojoule per mole. So can you see here six is nothing but is positive. Positive is nothing but heat is absorbed. Heat is absorbed. After absorbing, the solid is converted as liquid. So if it is minus, means it is evolved. It's exothermic. Here it is positive, it means that heat is absorbed, it is endothermic reaction. After supplying the heat only, the solid is converted as liquid. So, this is about the enthalpy change during the phase transformation. Are we getting this is second term? And the next one is uh, in this phase transformation only, the molar enthalpy of vaporization. I have not written the uh, examples here. Here we are going to discuss that. Uh, the reactant it is converting from liquid into the vapor means gases component. Liquid into the vapor transfer means transfer of energy vapor and the energy is called as molar enthalpy of vaporization. So amount of energy required to convert one mole of the liquid as a vapor form. That energy is called as standard enthalpy of vaporization that is represented by delta in short of VAP. That VAP is nothing but vaporization. Similarly, so if the compound is converted from solid into the directly gases, solid into the heat point the liquid agatha, again liquid is after heating it is converted as vapor. So solid into the direct gases convert either, that is we are going to call that as a sublimation. Sublimation is the conversion from solid into the vapor or vapor into the solid without going to the liquid state. So that now sublimation is that So halta solid into the direct Gases is not part of the yes, energy for the world. That energy is called as standard enthalpy of sublimation. Means the change in the enthalpy when one mole of look here for every statement we are using one mole. The reactant of the product should be one mole in the product. Uh, it's not a standard enthalpy. So when one mole of the solid substance sublimates at a constant temperature under standard pressure. Temperature constant temperature, are condition in the moment, pressure should be again 1 bar. The condition for the day, solid is in the direct IV gas is in the we are going to call that as a standard enthalpy of sublimation. Yes, the heat change at the moment, heat can again be the standard enthalpy of sublimation. These three are regarding the phase transformation. 
Next one is about the standard enthalpy of formation. So standard enthalpy of formation and under either of the other. Can one the reactant with the product transformation of the product formation of how it is transferred means at what condition means here we are going to say that the enthalpy change should be from one mole of the compound, one mole of the compound formation of the from its element in their most stable state, most stable state that the state has to be considered as a standard reference state. So, it is a very simple water formation of the water is nothing but H2O. H2O product break on the bread means H2O it is in the H2O product meaning. So, what should be the reactant means we have to take the reactant as hydrogen and oxygen. Water the linear H2O is right. So, H2O aggregation elements. So, fundamental elements are hydrogen and oxygen. We have to take the individual hydrogen and individual oxygen. Here you combine water work. So, water the hydrogen plus oxygen is water work. Even with the immobile conditions are in the no very condition of the methane of the carbon dioxide have done water barbo, Baralanta. Are there other standard enthalpy of formation unknown in law? So, standard enthalpy of formation is nothing but what we have to take the elements of fundamental things. Ega methane in CH4, CH4 and the formation of the other elements in the carbon and hydrogen as the two over the oxygen to over carbon dioxide in the carbon, you know, function the hydrogen to over it is not considered as a Standard enthalpy of formation. So, definition of the rule for the concept of practice not for the thoroughly variable primary. So, symbolically, you have to remember delta H naught F, F is for the fusion, but I have for the formation. So, then the explanation of the example is like a one so that we can go to understand it is in detail. So, look here, what is standard enthalpy of formation of the formation? So, we have the formation of water. To form one mole of water, we have taken hydrogen and half of the O2. So that we are getting the minus up to 85.8 kJ per mole. So similarly, in the CH4 H capital value, in the next one it is small h, it is wrong. Capital H value is CH4. So to make it as a methane, we have to take the carbon that is called as graphite plus hydrogen. After combining this, we are going to get the methane. Similarly, to get as a methanol, you know, like water ke integrates of hydrogen and oxygen. We have taken only these two. Methane ke carbon and hydrogen. We have taken only these two. So, methanol, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, we have taken carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Nothing is there apart from this. So, this is called as standard enthalpy of formation. Standard enthalpy of formation and the product of formation of EN way to run as a tubo. Where is the tubo? I mean, formation I get to look at compulsory one mole of a step product. One mole in the just even way, it is not considered as a standard enthalpy of formation. Look here, these are the three examples. This is not a standard enthalpy of formation. Here, look here, calcium carbonate. Here also it is wrong. Capital O very big, small over the C4, cobalt and the must and should have to write the capital O. CSU means calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate become a calcium vapor, one point. Second vapor, carbon vapor, I mean oxygen vapor. One vapor, we learn to only know calcium oxide under combined one is only the wrong. You have to take calcium purely, purely calcium at all vapor. Oxygen separate at all, carbon separate at all. If you are taken in a combined molecules, means it is not a standard enthalpy. Calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Yellow to combine one again, one with one input again and three, three, calcium carbonate. So, here different elements are the compound and the two to the standard enthalpy and the other. So, that is a separate type of calcium carbon oxygen master to the standard enthalpy. So, second one. So, here hydrogen bromide. Here we have taken the hydrogen and bromine separately. But one thing is in the product we have obtained the two moles of HBR we have obtained. But in the product we have to get only one mole of HBR. 2 mole, 3 mole, 1 mole, that is standard enthalpy and law. Product only compulsory 1 mole of vapor. How can that be made? Gold reaction divided by 2 moles. So, you made it in the middle. And so, the same reaction only I have divided by gold reaction by 1 by 2. And 1 by 2 then you can multiply it. So, 2 HBR becomes 1 HBR and the remaining becomes half of. Ether made the respect. This is standard enthalpy. And if you look at these two are not the standard enthalpy. Why? Because they are not having the 
individual elements in the reactant and it is not having the one mole of the component in the product. So the, coming to the next one, that is in the thermochemical equation. Here in this thermochemical equation, here it's going to say that the equation whatever we have written here, we are going to discuss based on the thermal energy. So it means that here ethanol is going to burn with the oxygen to give the carbon answer and water. In this process, how many moles of how many moles of ethanols are reacted with the oxygen? One mole of ethanol reacts with the three mole of oxygen to give two mole of carbon dioxide and three mole of water molecules. So in this burning means in the thermochemical equation means thermal is nothing but heat. How much heat is evolved or released in this reaction that can be calculated only on the basis of moles, not on the basis of molecule. Here, one mole of ethanol reacts with three mole of water oxygen to give two mole of carbon dioxide and three mole of water molecule. In this reaction, the overall heat exchange that is the form of negative of 1167 kilojoule per mole. So it means that for this reaction, the heat enthalpy in this reaction it is negative. It means that the reaction is exothermic. So exothermic is nothing but delta H is negative that indicates as exothermic. Positive means endothermic. So what we are discussing in this expression is the thermochemical equation means any of the equation which explains us about the thermal energy means heat whether it is evolved or released that can be expressed on the number of moles of the reactant not on the molecules. So that is also determined by another step. If only one reaction is there, we can see in the based on thermochemical equation. If the reactions are more than one, that can be discussed on the law that is called as S law of constant heat summation. In this theory, we are going to discuss that here if the reaction is taking place by more than one or two steps. If the reaction is taking not one step, it is undergoing first step, second step, third step. Overall, how we can able to determine the heat energy that can be discussed by this S law. Or in other words, if we don't know the what is the heat exchanged in the reaction, if we want to calculate the heat exchanged in the reaction, how that can be explained by the S law. So look here, here we are going to say that the reactant into the product that can be taken from any of the step, it may be taken in one method or in different method. But the heat reward should be the same, it has to be the same. So it means that Hess law is going to state that the reactant may take in a several step, but the standard reaction enthalpy is the sum of standard enthalpies of the intermediate reactions, intermediate reaction. So here we are going to say by one example that is think that in this uh, reaction that is carbon in scope when it reacts with the oxygen half of the oxygen it is going to give the carbon monoxide CO is nothing but carbon monoxide so here we don't know what is the heat exchanger what is the heat exchanger in this reaction it is portion now we don't know this one how it is possible to determine the heat exchange means uh, enthalpy of the reaction here when carbon reacts with oxygen to give carbon monoxide only carbon monoxide in this condition look here the separate reactions we are having here so these two reactions are nothing but when carbon reacts with the oxygen we have half oxygen we have full oxygen one more of oxygen it gives carbon dioxide so the heat evolved in this reaction that is nothing but the enthalpy of the reaction is minus 393.5 kilojoule per mole. Means we know the enthalpy of this reaction and also we know the enthalpy of carbon monoxide reacts with half of the oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Here also we are going to give carbon dioxide, here also. Here we have taken oxygen, half oxygen. Here it is carbon and here it is carbon monoxide. But the condition is in these two we know the enthalpy of the reaction. Enthalpy of the reaction means standard enthalpy of the reaction. We are familiar. But using these two reactions, it is possible to calculate the first one. How means? I would like to reverse the third equation. Think that this is first one, this is second, and this is third. I would like to reverse this third equation. So you just reverse this equation. Means I am going to write the reactant as a product and the product as a reactant. Just look here. Carbon dioxide, it's going to form as a carbon monoxide. 
plus half of the oxygen. So simply I am reversed with this reaction. And that condition what happens? The heat evolved that is also going to change. Here it is combining, combining, for the present it is undergo the exothermic reaction. And here it is under the cleavage, what is going to split for the present value will be the same, but the sign is going to change. Here the reaction is under the exothermic, whereas this reaction is under the endothermic. So cleavage is nothing but release the heat. So while making the bond, it is uh, here the heat is absorbed, here the heat is releasing. So for that reason, here nothing we have did uh, rather than changing the sign. So it means that this reaction is exothermic whereas this reaction is endothermic. So why we did this one means just to do the addition of this final reaction carbon dioxide and with the first one. First reaction, second reaction and this is third. So third I got by reversing the second one, isn't it? So now you do the addition of first one and third one. So by doing this first time into addition, I am going to get the this great previous equation. Just to look here, what I am doing is by doing addition of this two, means overall reaction. I am going to write the overall reaction. Overall reaction by writing this two reaction, you just write this one and this one. What happens here in the reactor? I am having carbon. Nothing is there. In the product, I am having one mole of O2. Here in the product, I am having half O2. So this half O2 cancel and half of this O2 cancel. Then remaining is half O2. Can you see here half O2 is there. Carbon is there. Here also carbon is there. Means this O2 is cancelled. Remaining here carbon dioxide is there. Can you see here? Here also one carbon dioxide is there. These two are going to cancel. And remaining here is carbon monoxide. Can you see here carbon monoxide is there. So what happened here? I am doing the addition of equation number this first one and this is third one. So by doing these two addition, I am going to get this equation. Isn't it? For that reason, it means that as I am doing this two addition reaction, the same thing I have been going to add the, this enthalpy of the reaction. Can you see here? This enthalpy is exothermic, this is endothermic. I am going to do the addition of this two, minus of this value, plus of this value. So under that condition, I am going to get here the same reaction. So carbon and half of the O2 is carbon dioxide. So here I did the minus of 393.5 means first reaction plus this is third reaction 283. Can you see here it is initially minus 83. After reversing it is converted as plus 83. So I am doing the addition of this two minus 393.5 plus 283. So here I am getting minus 393.5 plus 283. By plus and minus, they are subtracting and greater value is negative. Therefore, minus 110.5 kilojoule per mole. This value is going to give the value of enthalpy of this first one. So, this can be calculated by using these two. So, that is the value is minus 110.5 kilojoule per mole. So, it means that what here? The unknown enthalpy of the reaction can be calculated. By this method, by known reactions enthalpy, by rearranging the known enthalpy, we can able to determine the unknown enthalpy of the reaction. So this is nothing but Hess law of constant heat summation. So here known enthalpy can be added to determine the unknown enthalpies. So that's why we have taken here. So to calculate the total enthalpy, we may add or subtract. This is based on the enthalpy, how the reaction we are exchanging, either it is the same thing or reversing. Based on that, we are adding the enthalpy. The total enthalpy of the individual enthalpy is going to give the overall enthalpy of the reaction. So here, can you see A and it is B. A is converted as B. So we can also determine this one, whereas A is converted as C and C is converted as B and D is converted as B. So this is enthalpy of first one, enthalpy of second one, enthalpy of third one. So first, second, third, by doing the addition of these three, H1, H2, H3, enthalpy of these three is going to give the overall reaction A to B. It may converted in the only one step or it may converted by the several step A to C, C to D and D to B. So instead of calculating A to B, we may also calculate that 
enthalpy change by the addition of A to C enthalpy H1, C to be that is H2, B to be that is H3. Therefore, sum of the individual enthalpies are going to give you the overall enthalpy change in the reaction. So, this is called as Hess law of constant summation. So, this is about the basic concepts of this thermochemical reaction and it will be continued in the same thing for the next classes also but up to here it is one terminal and next it is different one so I know that you are having exam in the next week so I request you by tomorrow I am going to end this chapter for the present do practice this reaction so that you may not feel a complication at the time of examination for the present it is necessary to do the touch of previous video and this video so that you can able to understand this one okay we will meet in the next video with the continuation of this one until have a nice day bye